Hi, this is Leonie from Spines and Splines. I need to take a last minute trip home this weekend, which means 35 hours traveling on planes from Ireland to Australia, and then another 27 hours back in a week and a half. Hooray! So I'm taking this makeup case in my carry-on luggage and I'm filling it with all the art supplies I'll need to get me through the flights and the week. My main concern, of course, is avoiding anything that will cause a fuss at the security gate. I like taking things in separate tins or containers so that everything's pr really protected and it stays tidy and is easy to access. And this pencil tin holds several pencils, some charcoal pencils, compressed charcoal, white pastels, erasers and a pencil sharpener and it's really useful on the go. Paint wise I like to stick with my half pan watercolours. I have tubes as well but the pans are just much more convenient for travel, they're easier to use and there's no security restrictions as they're not a liquid. I'm taking my regular Sonalia set as well as my little Aqua Mini pocket box. I also have this little case for pens and pencils and I'll replace the pens in it when I visit the Sonalia shop in Paris during my 9 hour wait. Hooray, very excited. I also carry this empty glass bottle for water. It's heavier than a plastic container would be but it's got a safety cap so it's less likely to leak if I have to leave water in it at any point and I can fit it really easily in my pockets. Next up I have a range of polychromous coloured pencils that I carry in this nice sturdy cardboard box for protection. Watercolours and coloured pencils are by far the most convenient colours to travel with I've found. I've made myself this simple brush roll from a spare scrap of leather that I had lying around and it's really great for carrying my brushes and keeping them nice and safe. I've tried the watercolour brushes that hold water in a little reservoir inside the, the barrel of the brush but I really dislike them and so for travel I use an older more worn set of my regular brushes so that it's not too devastating if I lose one. I packed a size 4, size 0 and size 4 zero round brushes and a size 3 zero round brush with slightly longer bristles and a Japanese ink brush. I also have my Indian ink brush pens in here and a bone folder. And the last thing to go inside the kit are a small pack of tissues and cotton buds and some paper towels. I have this bottle of fountain pen ink that will go in my liquids bag just in case I need to empty or refill my fountain pen and I can also use this with the brush for drawing. I'm taking a small selection of different sketchbooks including my daily drawing sketchbook, a Hanamiul reporter book that has heavy drawing paper inside and it closes with an elastic and it's got an elastic to hold my pen so it's really convenient to use. I usually empty my fountain pen for flights, but I'm trying it full this time. Air pressure can cause leaks, so I'm going to make sure I fill it up completely before I go, and I'll keep the pen tips stored upright during takeoff and ascent, so that any air bubbles which could cause problems stay underneath the ink instead of sitting on top. I also have one more sketchbook for rough drawings and notes and a tin of old watercolour paper scraps to reuse. And that's it. All of this will fit easily in my carry-on luggage and it will keep me well and truly occupied during the flights and the trip. Like, subscribe, share, comment if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the other side. Cheers.